Federal court documents shed light on Jeroid Price's whereabouts while evading law enforcement. Price, a convicted killer whose early release from prison was vacated in April, was in the state of South Carolina when he was sentenced and when his sentence was reinstated. Now, law enforcement captured him in New York just this week, and our Jason Raven tells us more. Gerard Price spent more than 70 days on the run from local, state and federal law enforcement. Now officials say a tip from South Carolina led to his eventual arrest in New York this week. In March, Gerard Price was released from his prison sentence 16 years early. The December 2022 order was signed off by now retired Judge Casey Manning. Now, Price was sentenced to prison for 35 years for a 2002 murder. His attorney had seeked an early release because of his cooperation with authorities in other cases. Price was in a New Mexico prison at the time of his release. In April, the state Supreme Court overturned that order that released him from prison after the Attorney General and others argued the order was illegal. Now, justices ruled 3-2 to two that Price needed to be returned to prison. Sending Mr. Price back to the Department of Corrections is like ordering a death sentence on him. After Price didn't turn himself in, this kicked off a months-long search for him. According to federal court documents, the FBI believes Price was briefly in South Carolina when his release was vacated, but went to Fayetteville, North Carolina, and boarded a bus to Atlanta, Georgia. They said telephone tracking indicated that Price went from Georgia to New Mexico. He was believed to be in the Albuquerque area in June. Now, investigators say he changed cell phone numbers while on the run, and authorities captured Price in New York this week after receiving a tip. It was a non-use of force type event. I don't want to say it was peaceful, but there was no force needed, and he was apprehended without any any event occurring. A New York court record show he's currently in custody awaiting a hearing on July 31st. He's expected to return to South Carolina. He will be taken to the Kirkland Reception and Evaluation Center in Columbia until his permanent custody placement is determined. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. Authorities were offering $60,000 for information leading to Price's arrest.